You're very welcome back. We have an American favourite here in the kitchen today. Yes, Chrissy Gibson from Take the Cake is here to look after our dietary requirements. <gasps> Good morning, Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, guys. An American recipe? Yeah, I guess it is. I guess it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm a one-trick pony. Uh, this is... I grew up on these, okay? So, special place in my heart. My husband's favourite. I really hope everybody actually goes out and makes these. Mm. Okay, you're going to inspire them. So, what are they actually called? They're oatmeal raisin cookies. Okay. They're, they're, they're pretty classic. And um, we start with a half a pound of butter, which is about 225 grams. I always use salted butter. I do. And then I put 100 grams of white sugar in here. You can use castor sugar or uh, granulated sugar. I whip that up until it's nice and fluffy. And then I add about a cup of light muscovado sugar, okay? Not dark, you don't want it, you don't want it to taste too uh, molassesy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like treacle. Yeah, the yeah. thing is that, uh, y you were asking on the earlier assignment about the chewiness. Yeah, the trick about getting a chewy center. So I have to have chewy cookies. I've got yeah. a thing about chewy cookies. And uh, there's just nothing better than a cookie when it's right. It's uh. soft in the middle, it's just crisp on the edges. One of the ways I do that is I add a bit more brown sugar than white. White sugar. If okay. you add more white sugar than brown, you're going to get a crispy cookie. Oh, right. Now, the other thing I do is, when it comes time to bake them, I always slightly underbake mine. And then that'll keep them soft as well. Yeah, it gives that kind of doughy texture. Yeah, it does. But I, I, I just like my cookie soft. I don't know. Even my ginger snaps don't snap. They, they bend. Ginger bends, they're called. Yeah, ginger bends. I make yes. ginger yeah. bends at Christmas. What's for dessert? <laughs> ginger bends. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, once you've m made your, your sugar and your butter nice and fluffy, you add about two, how much did I add? 210 grams of light muscovado sugar. I've always got to switch to metric in my head. And then you get that, you get that mixed evenly. And to that, we're going to add two eggs, OK? Today I'm using pasteurized eggs. You can just use eggs from the shell also. And then we give that another mix. And then get yourself a nice vanilla. Vanilla extract. You know how I am about my vanilla extract. Yeah. Yes, extract um, rather than essence, yeah. right? Yeah, so it's not gonna be as sweet as essence. Get yourself a nice vanilla extract and add five mils of that. Okay, that's just a teaspoon, all right? Then we blend again. So. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty moist mixture right now. It's not ready to bake. These would just go everywhere on the pan. We're gonna mix together our dry ingredients and add those, okay? What I have here is 225 grams of self-raising flour, um, a half a teaspoon of salt, so say three grams, mm -hmm. a teaspoon of baking soda, not baking powder, baking soda, so say, what, three grams, four grams, and uh, cinnamon a teaspoon of that. And cinnamon is lightweight, so that'll just end up being about three grams. We're gonna add this mixture in, and the cinnamon with the raisins really works, so don't leave the cinnamon out. I should pause for a moment and mention that if you're not crazy about cinnamon, like some people. Yeah, are you not? Or if you're, if you're not crazy about raisins, which some people aren't, Simon had one without raisins. Um, Special treatment. You can skip the cinnamon, you can skip the raisins, and add chocolate chips I was just going to say, asking for a friend, could you lamp in some chocolate chips? Absolutely. <laughs> but make sure that if you do the chocolate chips instead of the raisins, yes. you also take out the cinnamon. Ah, that, right. that wouldn't work. So the cinnamon goes and the chocolate goes yeah. in? Oh, yeah, I'm the all over that. The cinnamon and raisins are a package deal. Oh, good. Cool. So the okay. other thing is you okay. can do these like brownies. Like you're gonna do a tray of brownies, you can put these gotcha. in, a, in a pan. So I've got those two variations on the recipe on your website. Okay, okay. that's very clever. Chrissy, can I ask as well, while we're asking the questions, uh, no nuts in this, is there? No, but you can. No, so, but for lunch boxes, because we can't have nut products oh, right, in the lunch right. boxes. These, these are good these in lunch work. boxes, actually. Okay. So I, I don't generally put nuts in my cookies. We're not gonna do that today. Yeah. But if you add nuts, add a cup of chopped walnuts or pecans, and then for lunch boxes, if that you absolutely have to keep them out. These yeah. days, there's no flexibility no. No, there, there is there. Yeah. Okay, great. So I'm mixing in all my dry ingredients, okay? And uh, after we do that, we're gonna mix in our oatmeal and our raisins. Now, the raw oats can really be any raw oats, okay? Uh, these are just easy peasy. Don't use the steel cut, just use... Just use Porridge oats. Yeah. Raw. Okay. Okay. So we're going to add that, and uh, wow, that's a lot of oats. I, it is a lot of oats. It's about three cups. Two, uh, 275 grams is about three cups, and then a cup of raisins, sir. 
whether you like it or not, they're going in. Get over it. Now, I, you could do this part by hand, but we're short on time today. I'm gonna dive in and do it with my, my hand mixer. Okay. Um, and it, you don't have to worry about the raisins breaking, okay? It really doesn't matter if the sure. raisins break. So just, uh, just throw it all in and go for it. Okay. Okay. Um, you will notice that as we get everything in there, it's going to be quite firm. Yeah. Okay. And that's okay. You've it's done not it a right. It's loose mixture. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. So here we go, and we're going to put these on our cookie sheet. I got I got started ahead of time over here. You can fit about 12 cookies on a sheet if you do them small, but you could also do them big. Look at these. Yeah. These are gigantic. <laughs> You've got ice cream I in put there. Ice cream in the middle. These is it ice cream? Good. Actually, it's oh. ice cream. Somebody's got wow. their name on one of these Vanilla over there. ice cream. So, yeah, you can, you can make ice cream sandwiches <clears throat> with these. They're lovely. And if you make them small, bake them for about eight minutes. And if you make them big, bake them for about 12. The thing is, everybody's oven is different. Yeah. You know, so, so judge yourself and just take a peek in your oven after eight minutes. See how they're doing. And then, uh, and then if they need a minute longer, just pull them. But I like to pull my cookies out of the oven when they're still a little bit puffy on the top. Okay. I leave them on the tray for a good minute before I touch them. And what and temperature do you cook them at, Chrissy? 160. Okay. Nice and low. Okay. 160. Yeah, it's 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 not too high. Yeah. If you've got a if you've got an oven that tends to run cool, do 180. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put these in for eight minutes because I'm making small cookies today. Okay. Okay. And. Um, I just put some in a little earlier, so we'll take those out, and you guys can have a warm one if you want. Oh, um, no, okay. Simon, I didn't like it. Is there warm cookies from the oven? Mm. Yeah, I know. And you know what? I didn't bring milk. Uh, That's okay. Cookies and milk. Uh, That's okay. We'll have cookies and coffee. Cookies and milk, Mom. So, so, I brought the coffee. Uh, these these have been sitting on the tray for for about five minutes now, so they're going to come off nice and easily. But they they go from really puffy to they kind of they kind of flatten, flatten out in the out, center yeah. okay so simon i've got a couple here that are light on the raisins sir wow for the wash down this raisin end. free thank you and and full of raisins can and I, and cinnamon can i just and take this point can we dive say, in oh we'll dive in, in. Go for it. i'm going to say thank you to your mom uh, karen all the way over in south carolina who very <laughs> graciously knitted me a hat and a scarf for my birthday because I was 30 last week. And, uh, <laughs> you know, That's his best joke so um, far. Anyway, Karen, she sent over this beautiful handmade scarf and a uh, hat from her knitting circle in South Carolina. Yep. That's very sweet. Uh, which arrived today. Thank you, Karen. Uh, your daughter's a wonderful cook and you're a great knitter. Oh, she would adopt you. Oh, you there's a raisin. Look, I'm trying to avoid the raisin. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Chrissy, as My ever. Pleasure. Continued My pleasure. Continued success to you. Thank now, you, as ever, full recipe details are up on our website, or you can check out takethecake.ie for more of Chrissy's wares and stockist <clears> details. <throat> now, following yesterday's CAO offers, we'll be answering any questions that have arisen after this quick break. See you in a minute. The new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference.